It's time for Operation Crazy Plan 2.0 to commence. You dare me? <laughs> really? And the fact that you think this photo of my grandmother is going to be harder to recreate than this photo of my mother that I recreated perfectly. For those of you who don't know, my mother hated the glamour shot that she had done in the 80s that for some reason my grandmother had above her fireplace in her house, so I recreated it, and at Thanksgiving I switched out the photos. Now I am going to start recreating the photo of my grandmother to her place in her house on New Year's. Now that you're all cut up, wig styling! Let's go! I have the wig all pinned down for restyling. Now, most of my wigs are human hair. People think I have a lot more wigs than I do. It's because I can restyle the human hair wigs forever. This wig is synthetic, so I have never restyled it because that intimidates me, but I saw online that you can steam them straight and start over. steamed out way better than I thought it would. Look at that. And if I actually spent time, I'm sure we could go from Hermione Granger to actually straight hair. Also, you can tell I cut this wig when it was... Also, you can tell I cut this wig when it was curled. Basically, to remind myself, this is the curl pattern I'm going to need to emulate. This is the wig all rolled. I'm not sure if I have the pattern right. My grandmother never wanted height to her hair because she was 5'9 in the 50s. But bam You feeling lucky, punk? Dare me again. Be sure and leave a comment if you're invested in Operation Crazy Plan 2.0, where I recreate this photo of my grandmother and replace it in her house on New Year's. It's time for an Operation Crazy Plan 2.0 update. For those of you who don't know, at Thanksgiving, I recreated a glamour shot of my mother from the 1980s that my grandmother had in her house. Who knows why? Because my mother hated this photo. So, on New Year's, I am going to replace this photo with a recreation that I am going to make. I doubt she will, because my family's DNA just kind of says copy-paste, apparently. Today, our focus is going to be on this photo necklace. Now, I have been looking through all of my vintage jewelry. I have nothing that works. I was looking on eBay to try and find something. I found similar things, but nothing that was right. I was going to go to the craft store and buy rhinestones and figure out soldering. Then my mother told me she has that necklace. Mother darling, why were you holding out on me like that? I said, not really, because I'm still alive. <laughs> but look at this. It is the same necklace. I am so excited. That is Keely. Hello, Keely. She's excited about the necklace, too. <laughs> no. So, yeah, that is really good news. A very large piece of this puzzle has been fixed. Thank you for watching, my strange little onions. I love you. Please leave a comment if you're invested in this series. Makeup day! Hello, my strange little onions. For those of you who don't know, my grandmother had a photo of my mother in a glamour shot from the 1980s hanging above her fireplace. Who knows why? Because my mother hated that photo. So at Thanksgiving, I recreated the photo and switched it out. So now there is a photo of me dressed as my mother hanging above her fireplace. Go watch that series. It's really fun. I am now going to recreate a photo of my grandmother. This photo, to be exact. Commonly asked questions. My mother was in on the Glamour Shop photo. I had her permission to show the photo on TikTok. And no one has noticed the recreation except for a couple of family members who follow me here. They've been sworn to secrecy. This photo that I'm really worried about recreating is her eyes are pointed up. And in case you haven't noticed, I have a lazy eye, so that's probably not going to happen. This photo is going to be harder to do the makeup on than my mother's glamour shot because my grandmother was not actually allowed to wear makeup. She was 18 here, so she's wearing lipstick. That's it. I hate to ruin the illusion, but I actually wear quite a bit more makeup than just a lipstick.
like quite a bit more. My great-grandfather was so strict, she wasn't allowed to pluck her eyebrows, so a friend of hers brought tweezers to school, and she plucked them in the girls' restroom. That's why I wear so much makeup. I'm doing it for teenage grandma. Contour! If you've ever wondered why I have such a tiny waist, this woman. She had a 19-inch waist on her wedding day, and she didn't wear a girdle or a corset. I'm discouraged with contouring, so I'm going to move on to my brows. Wouldn't this have been an excellent time to have told you about my great-grandfather? I'm going to do a white eyeliner just to make sure the eyes catch the light. To appease my brain with the lack of makeup I'm putting on, I'm just contouring in shadows. I think I know what lipstick she was wearing. Wine with Everything by Revlon. It's her favorite color. My grandmother has a negative candle tilt where the eyes slant down, my eyes slant up, so I'm going to take a very tiny false lash and put it at the corner to try and bring the eyes down. I'm going to finish the look with Air Spun by Cody because that's what she used as foundation. <sighs> oh my gosh. <gasps> I think it's gonna work! Thank you so much for watching. Leave a comment if you're invested in this series so the algorithm can do its thing and bring you back for the big swap. It's time for Operation Crazy Plan 2.0 photo recreation time. I did some more work on the wig. I reversed the part and the way it curls. It was right. My way was right to picture because everything in TikTok is mirror imaged, but... My dimple is on my right side. Her dimple is on her left side. So to get this to match, I'm going to need to mirror image myself when it's done. So to do that, I have to mirror image the hair. Just against a plain wall, I'm going to pose. By the way, I have a copy of this picture, which is making it a lot easier to do everything. I need to show less teeth, but still show teeth. Interesting. The thing that's been so hard about this entire process with my grandmother and my mother's glamour shot is the three of us pose for photos in a very similar way, but they're entirely different. And it's a matter of degrees. And if the photo is off by the tiniest bit, it is off. So to get the posing right is proving to be quite difficult. I thought her head was tilted, but no, her head is straight. Her body is tilted. Okay, so now I have another thing to worry about direction of body. I just finished taking photos. I took over a hundred photos. Now I have two. One captures the spirit of my grandmother and one captures the expression more. I'll let you see which one you think I should use. The original photo. This is the one that captures the spirit of my grandmother. Now keep in mind it is not edited in any way yet. This is the photo that best captures her pose. Vote in the comments. See which photo goes on to be the winner for Operation Crazy Plan 2.0. Photo 1 or photo 2. All right, I love you. Have a hug, a cookie, and a juice box. And remember to comment whether or not you're invested in this crazy plan in the comments. Mwah. It's photo time for Operation Crazy Plan 2.0. Oh. I ordered copies of the photos for myself to put in this double frame. <laughs> The time has come, it's New Year's Day, which means Operation Crazy Plan 2.0 is coming to a head. Hello, my Strangel Onions. Back at Thanksgiving, I recreated a glamour shot of my mother that my grandmother had hanging in her house. Who knows why? Because my mother has always hated that photo. So I recreated it and my grandmother has yet to notice, which is why I decided to recreate a photo of my grandmother and put it in her house and see if she notices that. This is the photo I recreated, and I did go with pose two. This is my photo. Now keep in mind, it is mirror image because TikTok. Happy New Year coming at you from the bathroom. Don't be suspicious. 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 For the people asking, no one's noticed the glamour shot. Do you know, know me? But I know you. 
And with that, the Operation Crazy Plan 2.0 season comes to an end. Thank you for watching my Strange Little Onions, and let me know if you think I should recreate the photo of my great-great-grandmother, because the genes are strong in my family. I love you. Have a hug, a cookie, and a juice box. Happy New Year. Mwah.